Hey guys, it's Ben. Welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, I like to do reviews on some of my favorite 4K and 3D Blu-ray titles. I've been waiting anxiously in the mail for this one. Finally came in today. Ant-Man and the Wasp in 4K. Super great movie. Loved it. I highly recommend getting this as soon as possible in the stores while this lenticular cover lasts. I don't think... I think that this is a limited edition. I don't think that it's, it's gonna stay like this forever. You know, eventually, they won't sell with the slip covers anymore. But I don't know if you can see it. You move it, and their masks come on and off. Anyway, really good movie. Still waiting for the 3D copy, and I'll eventually do a review on that. But uh, I'm not going to talk about the plot of the movie. Everyone's already seen it, I assume. I'm just going to talk about the picture quality. So this one is in 239 widescreen, so it does have the black bars. It was shot digitally in 8K and has a 2K DI and upscaled to 4K. Um, don't ask me why it was downgraded. I'm not really very post-production savvy. have no idea why. I don't think it would matter anyways because I don't have an 8K TV. But regardless, this movie looks awesome on my 4K OLED. It is an HDR10 and it does have Dolby Atmos sound. So as far as the picture goes, you're really going to see the resolutions shine in some of the scenes where you see the uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp's costumes. You really get the sense that you could actually touch the fabric, like you know what it feels like. That's how detailed it is. Um, the, the way that it was digitally shot, I think, provides a, a three-dimensional sense of depth to the whole movie, especially scenes like in the, in the middle of the movie where they have the lab um, enlarged in that big forest in San Francisco. Um, you really see like, you know, branches of trees um, in the front of the screen and everything else kind of pushed back. It kind of feels like I'm watching a 3D movie sometimes, just without the glasses. Looks really cool. Now, I also noticed a lot of color um, that I didn't notice when I saw it originally in the movie theater. Like, for instance, the beginning when Hank Pym is telling the story about how his wife, Janet, got lost into the quantum realm. It takes you on a flashback, you see them both on that rocket that's headed to destroy millions of lives, and um, you see her wings come out, and I remember seeing her wings in the first Ant-Man movie, and also in the movie theater, but it was so, I don't know, it had like a, almost like a rainbowy metallic look to it, and I don't know if that's just something that I never noticed before, or if it's something that was brought out with the HDR in this movie. I tend to think the latter. It looked really good. The HDR also really shines in scenes, like when Hank Pym is in the quantum realm. Um, reminded me a lot of, like, Doctor Strange. By the way, I can't wait for Doctor Strange to come out in 4K. I think that would look great, too. But, um, yeah, so for the picture quality in this, I mean, it looked amazing. There, there weren't any scenes that were too dark. You know, even the dark scenes in the beginning where um, Paul Rudd is in the uh, that little tunnel that he made for his daughter. They're playing out an Ant-Man adventure. That scene was pretty dark in the movie theater, but it looked perfect. And I, I was watching this during the daytime, so it actually looked pretty damn good. Um, so for picture quality, i definitely give this a 9 out of 10. For sound, not so much. Um, some people, some of my friends said they really liked the sound on this, and they said that it was the best out of all the Marvel movies, because Disney normally has a, a way of messing up their Atmos soundtracks, I think. But... Um, it's not that it was bad, it just wasn't, to me, it just wasn't what an Atmos track should be. I feel like if this were DTS HD, or if this was Dolby True HD, I'd give it a really good review. But for an Atmos track, not so much. I, I didn't hear much overhead effect at all, and um, the times that I did hear it, it was very quiet. I contemplated turning up the speaker volume, but I didn't want to do that. Um, I shouldn't have to do that. But um, everything else was fine. Um, the bass was really good. Clear, crisp dialogue. Good surround panning effects from the front speakers to the back. Um, I had no problem with that. Like I said, if this was a Dolby True HD track, or if it was DTS, it would be really good. But for an Atmos track, I didn't think it was that special. Which is usually the case with most of the Disney films. So for sound, I'm going to be a little harsh on this one and give it a 7.5. But um, other than that, the disc is awesome. I redeemed the digital copy, which as most of you know, um, you could stream the movie in Dolby Vision with Atmos as well. Um, 
haven't looked into that yet to see if there's a difference in picture quality. Uh, sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. Um, I did pop in the regular Blu-ray and just skimmed through it to compare the picture quality and uh, the 4K version definitely is an upgrade from the Blu-ray. So I highly recommend, if you're debating whether to spend the extra money for the 4K disc, highly recommend getting it. This is, uh, to me, I consider reference quality disc. So if you liked this review, uh, please subscribe. If not, thank you for watching. I will eventually be posting a review on the 3D Blu-ray as well. Uh, thanks a lot and have a great day.